Welcome to another day at Farming with Family. I'm gonna start by getting the hose off the loader. One of the hydraulic hoses was starting to leak, which is what got all that oil all over the windshield. So gonna get that taken off and taken to town, put a new end on it. I have a little extra hose left to work with, so we'll just cut the bad part off and then we'll put a new end on it. I got the hose taken off, wasn't too hard. You can see there's, right there, there's some old cracking. So I think that's right where it's leaking from. Not a bad leak, but hydraulic fluid isn't cheap, so I don't really like oil all over the tractor. So we'll just take it to town, get it fixed, put it back on, we'll be ready to go. We're officially back to Long John's weather. The temp dipped last night, and it is now negative four, if you can see that. A little chilly to be outside. And we're getting a little snow. Hopefully it keeps coming down because our fields are bare. And that's how you lose a lot of moisture. Roads aren't too bad though. Got our hose all fixed up. Stopped at Premier Equipment here in Bowdle. Got away with an easy $10 fix, so they just chopped off some of the hose and put a new end on it. So it's always nice when you can just do that instead of have to do a whole new hose that costs 10 to $14 per foot of hose. So that's always nice when you can get away with a cheap fix. And as an extra bonus, got a free cup of coffee and cappuccino, so you gotta love those perks. We still have a nice little South Dakota blizzard. Not a whole lot coming down, but it's blowing around for sure. Well, that was some work. Got the two dual hubs out of the back of the car. Each one's probably 100 pounds or better. And these are my two old ones that I'm gonna put on my 4560. So they're both the same kind, but Different size wedges for a 4440 versus a 4561 has a little bit bigger axle on it. Then this is where it'll sit. Each one has a little keyway just so they go on a certain side and stay in place and don't turn on there. So we'll put them somewhere out here. We're going to try to get them spaced to 30 inch rows, but we'll see if that happens for how much dual we have or how much uh, axle we have to work with and how far the dual stick out. So we'll see, but in, if anything, it'll just give us more traction. And if it's uh, muddy out when we're spraying or a little soft and we won't make such big ruts, we'll just have a little bit more flotation. Well, I got the first layer for OSB done. My uh, back is filling it. Terry, you have workman's comp, right? Huh? You have workman's comp, right? Yeah. <laughs> Something like that. But, so we got this done, and then we're gonna get some tongue and groove, three quarter inch plywood, and then lay this way. Then we're gonna put in a, a attic ladder over there, and then we'll finish putting the last sheet of OSB over there when we get that all framed out. I'm gonna head home now from Terry's place. It's gonna feed my calves and cows and hay before it gets really cold. I was gonna try to do it last night, but I'm, I've been having an alternator charging issue with my 4440 loader tractor. And I was gonna feed after dark and my lights just kept getting dimmer and dimmer and pretty soon I had no lights. So we're gonna try to get it fed today, put the charger on overnight and we're gonna, we'll probably bring it back up here and look some more to try to figure out where 
well got the hydraulic hose put back on got it attached back there still had enough line to get all the way back here to my SCV so we'll get it started give it a try and hopefully no more leaks it's just a little bit colder out today than yesterday I need to put on my jacket underneath my coveralls because it was just a little bit too chilly got the tractor started so I just let that warm up for a few minutes before we move it around get some cow stuff. I gotta say I am so thankful for cab tractors even though it's still warming up in here it is a lot better than out there in the open I pick up a bale if I can get under it with a snow bank hay might look old from the outside but a bit of this left off from that outside part of it and you can see it's still still pretty nice and green like when you bailed it not moldy this was put up by my dad in 2019 so it's a good three years old but still good quality hay apparently the big cows like it too Cinnamon's right in the middle of the pile, aren't you, girl? She's got a nice fur coat on her. All snowy. Get this gate closed up. Ooh, that was close. great I uh, got the tractor stuck it's a little icy down there and the front is in where a bale was just sitting in a little hole so the neighbor's gonna come and drive my pickup because I don't have a tractor that's plugged in right now so we're gonna try to see if we can give it a little bit of yank and just extra tension to get it out and we'll see if that works I sure hope so well thank goodness for neighbors one just down the street, he came over, gave it a pull with a pickup, and came right out. So just need a little extra help. So that's why it pays not to be a jerk neighbor. Well, since it's been snowing, there's a little bit of snow that's drifted in the feed trough. So we'll get that shoveled out, and then we'll give them some grain. Okay, guys. You ready? Ready for a little grain? Come on, guys. Now I see their trough has a little snow in it too, so we'll get that shoveled out before we give it to them. Got the cow's water broke open for them. Since we're at a high today of negative five, I ended up plugging the tank heater in, so by tomorrow it should be keeping this all open. Um, it takes quite a while for it to thaw the whole tank, but it does good enough where it'll keep this open for quite a while until it keeps thawing as it goes. So that had frozen up, so the cows are thirsty after they got done eating their grain that I just gave them. I gave them a little bit of extra grain today just for how cold it is. I gave them three buckets instead of two just because it, it takes a little more calories just to keep them warm and not growing, but just to keep them warm. So they'll get their water for the day. Got 
got some good table scraps for the chickens. They will uh, get these next week when it's not negative 20 degrees out. Next week is supposed to be in the 30s again, so we're going to keep them in the in their chicken coop until then. And then we'll let them out once it gets a little nicer. When it's this cold, they don't want to come out anyways. Right now I'm just filling up for refilling their soybean meal bucket. The soybean meal just has a lot of protein, like we talked about yesterday, for the few soybeans I put in with the cow's grain. It gives a little extra protein. So this I just feed it to them on the side so they can eat as much as they want and they know how to regulate that for themselves. So it just helps them have enough nutrients to lay their eggs and um, keep them healthy and a good weight because if they don't have enough nutrients then they just don't lay as much because it takes too much out of their bodies. So I'll get this filled up and get their feeder refilled. Probably can't really see all that well but this is their feeder I put the soybean meal in and they can just come and eat this. I have the other regular ground feed over there. 